What up guys, Kotu Games here, welcome back to another Idol Heroes video and today we'll be pushing couple of more stages in Void campaign. And we're starting with stage 3-6-6, we have 6 assassins, as you know they're going after your lowest HP hero. In this case, uh, currently Halora is not in our second house, we're running Fairy Queen Vesa for extra heals and shields, so that's why they were going after Halora. Anyways, you have to put a couple of crowns on your weakest heroes and you have to hope that your Mockman is going to kill a couple of the enemies in round 2 and you're going to survive until the end. For the Assassin Wave, uh, you can run CC Purify or Dot Purify. I prefer to go with CC Purify mainly because of the stun coming from Saja. Next we have a pretty easy wave, we have Fiona and Ignis, so we don't have to run uh, multiple splendid crowns on our heroes and instead we can run uh, 4 splendid demon bells, this way we can feed constant energy to Jara and Mokman. Uh, Jara needs to CC as many as possible of the opponents and of course Mokman needs to finish them up with couple of actives. Now for this stage guys, it's worth mentioning that Morax is hitting random targets with his basic and active skill, Garuda is doing support attacks and hitting the same target after Morax and also with her basic attack Garuda is hitting slot 1, which means that you have to run really tanky hero in slot 1 and you have to hope that the enemies will spread their attacks evenly and they're not gonna kill your heroes in round 1. And again we are running one splendid crown and couple of demon bells, this way we can feed more energy to Starwing, Jara and Mokman and we are running Dot Purify on all of our heroes. Now for this stage guys, bear in mind that Onkirimaru is hitting slot 1 and 2, Garuda is doing support attacks and also is attacking the hero in slot 1, which means that in the front line you have to put 2 really tanky heroes, preferably you can run 2 splendid crowns on the heroes in the front row and of course in the back where the heroes are more protected you can run uh, splendid demon bells, this way you can feed energy to Starwing, Jara and Mokman.
Now for this stage guys, since it is pretty difficult, we had to put Halora back in our second house, we had to make her quicker than Mokman again, this way she can go first in our team and she can buff the damage of our heroes. So for this stage guys we had to go back to 4 splendid crowns, Fairy Queen Vesa of course is with splendid demon bell so she can heal up our team and Mokman is with melodic strings. So as you can see our Halora is with splendid crown and she is in slot 1, this way we are hoping that she's gonna get hit couple of times with basic attacks from the enemies, she will gain 100 energy and she's gonna do an active in round 1 and Mokman needs to do an active and hopefully kill SFX or the enemy Halora, this way we have a chance to win this fight. So this round we were really lucky and we've got an energy on our Halora, Mokman is one shotting the enemy Halora and almost killing SFX and here we're going to CC almost everyone with our Jara and we're going to secure our victory. So on this stage guys we were running the lion pet for extra damage reduction and shields but I think it's doable even with the Phoenix pet, uh, other than that we are running dot purify on all of our heroes and of course control immunity uh, void imprints because King Barton is turning with his basic and counter attack. And lastly guys you can see the artifacts and the enables on our heroes worth mentioning that Mokman is with 8.7 million attack and we're running attack enables with dot purify so that was it guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye